Welcome back, everybody. Uh, obviously, if you've seen the title in the description and that awesome little thumbnail, you're going to know. Today's Tackle Tip Tuesday is the top 10 ice fishing lures I use for crappie. And uh, I think you're going to like these. I, if you're looking for some big slabs this winter, stay tuned. All right, guys. So, simply put, Today's video is all about those top 10 ice fishing lures for uh, crappie, and it's a variety, and I'm going to try to keep it short and simple for you guys today. Um, I almost didn't get this one done. Um, it was, it's was it been a long day, put it that way, um, a very, very long day, but I digress. Let's get into this. Um, I think I'm going to start from the smallest and go to the biggest one, or no, no, we'll do it the other way around. We'll, we'll go from the biggest to the smallest. The most aggressive will basically be what you start with, and then, you know, all else fails, you go all the way down to the last one, and if they're not biting that, you guys, uh, you're going to have a hard day. Okay, so we're going to start up here and work our way down to these little guys here. Uh, first, we'll start with this guy right here. Um, he is a very versatile lure. This is an ultralight rip and wrap. Um, don't get confused with the bigger rip and wraps, but uh, let's go into a little bit of detail and uh, get into this. Okay, so like I was saying before, I'm going to go from the largest, like most aggressive, down to the, basically the most tedious or uh, I guess you would say finesse. So we're going to go into this real quick here. I don't want to make this too long for you guys, but if you can see there, I don't know if it's going to focus. This is an ultralight, ultralight rip and wrap number three. Uh, so this is the smallest one they make right now, I believe. I don't think they've come out with a smaller one. Um, if they do, I'll definitely be getting it because they work. Um, I have a lot of videos of me using this for many different species. Um, but they do come in bigger and smaller ones. But to simply put it, if you guys are looking to get into crappie fishing this winter, and you want an amazing little search bait, do what I did, invest. Um, this is probably... One of the better investments I've made because everything bites this. But as far as crappie fishing, if you're in the right area and there's a lot of crappie around, it's a very simple, subtle lure that's got a little bit of BBs in it so you can call some fish in. But uh, you don't even need to put anything on this. I've put spikes on it and it does work. But uh, as far as fish catching ability and calling them in, the Ultralight Rip and Wrap, number three, in pretty much any color uh, pattern you need. I like the glow and the glow perch uh, personally, so if you guys are looking to get them, um, like always, I will link everything in the description for you guys uh, so you can stock up for the winter. And then remember, that helps this channel out. So if you guys are buying them anyways, get them from the description and help me out. I don't get a lot of anything back from it, but it's something and it helps. It'll get me out filming more for you guys. So basically, if you're going to get them anyways, like I said, link is in the description for all of these uh, that I can find. Sometimes I can't find the, the stuff for them, or if I can only find the main page, I'll usually link that. But the ultra right, rip, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> the ultra light rip and wrap number three. Uh, this is just a glow, so if you're looking for this specific one, it's just a glow. I think it's chartreuse glow, possibly. So, on to the next one. Alright, so you guys have probably seen this one before. If you've seen any of my other Tackle Tip Tuesdays, it's a jigging wrap. Very simple. So this is a number two or three, no, three. This is a number three jigging wrap. Uh, if I'm anywhere, there's going to be crappie and it's a low light condition. Obviously, same pattern as before, glow. And it's just a really simple go-to bait. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's always worked um, on bodies of water where they feed heavily on like this size minnow. Obviously you can upsize and downsize depending on the minnow uh, forage in that lake. But it's a really simple bait. You gotta play with it a lot, but once you get it down, it, it literally is one of those baits that if you get this down, you can, you know, if you get into school of crappie in the midwinter, this will get you your limit in a hurry. So the ultra, uh, well, the the jigging wrap, sorry, what is it? Number, I want to say three. This should be number three. So this one will be linked below also. All right, so next is going to be the Acme Castmaster. And this is the silver one. I have them in gold and silver and copper. 
Uh, I have them in plain and then glow are my main colors. Um, this guy right here is still a little bit of aggressive. It's, I believe it's their smallest one. I'm not exactly sure what size. They should stamp them on there. I believe this is like a 1 32nd ounce or 1 16th or maybe 3 16th ounce or something like that. But uh, it's, it's one of the lightest ones they make. Uh, I like having these around because you can put spikes on this one and they love red spikes on these things for whatever reason. I'm going to guess that it's because it's like the minnow baits that we used before, but it's more subtle. It doesn't have any rattle and it doesn't really uh, dart around too drastically. It does flutter really nicely when you put some spikes in the bottom of there. So that's a simple tip for you guys. If you're going to run this, use spikes with it first and see if they'll eat that. Um, obviously if they're more aggressive you can use bigger hooks or a bigger version of this with uh, minnow heads and that works great too but this is my number three and uh, I always have these ready to go so if you're on crappie the Acme Castmaster is definitely one of the ones that you should always have in your box okay so next is the slender spoon and this one just happens to be the hammered one uh, or I think that's what they called it is the uh, it's a hammered slender spoon, but this is their smallest one. Uh, it weighs nothing. You can see it's very, very thin. Um, this is for very shallow water fishing, or if like they're, the crappie are just underneath the ice. A lot of people don't understand that. Um, if you guys want me to do a, a like a how to find crappie stuff this winter, leave that in the comments below. I will do whatever I can to try and give you guys like more of a pattern-based video once in a while. That way you guys actually know where to use all these two. Because these all have different ranges. So this one I tend to use only when it's really shallow or if they're like just below the ice. Same thing with this one as that uh, Castmaster though, the Slender Spoon here. Um, with this small one, I just throw some spikes on there. But they make bigger Slender Spoons. This is the smallest one. I just like this one because it's a very light little flutter. And if you throw some red spikes on there, uh, if they're being finicky but they're still chasing stuff, they will eat this. So this is, uh, was it number four on the list here? Okay, if you guys have been in the Rama channel at all, you know that this is one of the top producing baits that I use. And I've been using it for a long time. And it's, it's just so simple and it's ridiculously simple how well it works. So you got your red hook, you got your hammered little flutter spoon thing, and just this little JB Lures Big Bad Bow Spoon. Uh, the lightest version they have. Um, I can't ever remember what the weight is, though. You'd think I'd have it memorized by now, but <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's just their smallest one. You can't get one smaller than this. Um, I always try and use it in uh, pink or red if I'm fishing for crappie. They glow, so that's another plus. Um, and this is another one of those simple ones. Throw some red spikes on it. And it's a little bit heavier than those guys, well, than that one. So this one's slightly heavier than this one. Um, so this one can be fished a lot deeper. That's the biggest plus, I would honestly say, of it than that. But for what it is, I mean, I've gotten some very big crappies on this one. So, I mean, I've gotten some decent ones on this one. But I can honestly say, I think between the two or the three of these spoons, this one's produced the biggest crappie. And that's not boasting about this one thing. It literally has caught me the biggest crappie. I think 16 inches is my biggest on that one. All right, so this guy right here, you guys might or might not recognize him. You can see how small this one is. This is the smallest forage minnow they make. Uh, God, I think it's Northland. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll try to link everything in the description below if I can find it. That's the best way I can help you guys out with these. Like, so if you're looking for them, just if it's in the description, just click on the link. It'll take you right to it, and then you can order as many as you want and the colors you want. But personally, I like this in this UV pink, and then there's a UV um, what is that? It's like a UV orange or chartreuse or whatever. Those two colors are my favorite. A lot of times with this spoon, though. So I don't think it comes with that hook specifically. It might, but I do like to upgrade the the hooks on these to a bigger, bigger hook. I do have a lot of them around, but uh, 
what I do is I'll, I'll upsize it one, just so I can put like a minnow head on there or something like that. This is when they get really finicky and you're trying to get like, you know, you're, you're just trying to get that bite that, like you can see how much smaller that is than the bow spoon. Like that's like a 132nd ounce or 164th ounce spoon. That's tiny, but it all has its place. So call them in, aggression, less aggression, extreme flutter, mid mid range flutter aggression getting very very sensitive okay so a lot of people might not actually recognize this because i painted that i painted that like six years ago <laughs> if you want to copy this paint job i would highly suggest it because this has caught me probably three or four seasons of limits this is a demon spoon, I think they call, but it's it's just a demon jig. Um, they make spoons that look kind of like this, where they got that hanging off the bottom of them. So you can do those, but I like this one specifically because if you put your line up at a diagonal from it, it actually will kind of rock and swim. And what I like to do, and this is a secret for you guys. Um, so obviously it's a this is a glow jig and that's why I painted it that way so when it's glowing you'll you can see those little legs it makes it look like an invertebrate in the water column and I mean bugs are a crappie's favorite in the middle of the night especially if there's a bug hatch or anything but uh one little tip I want to give you guys for fishing this thing is run either one spike or wax worm or two but just puncture the ends of them so you have a tail. It will make this dance around underwater like a bug. So when you get good at twitching it, you will catch any crappie that swim through if you have these. This is my favorite low light jig. Um, I mean, they'll bite it during daylight hours, but that's why I painted it the way it is. The head glows, this glows, That's it's a green glow. Um, and crappie just love this thing. I've been using it for many, many, many years. But, uh... Yes, 100% uh, do the single, whatchamacallit, wax worm or spike off the back of it. Try that first, and then try the double. So the double, like, my fingers are the back of it. You will do both just punctured through that, and then you'll have, like, a double kicker tail. Try it out. Let me know if you catch anything. Okay, so we went from very aggressive down to we're getting down to like a pretty finicky bite here. Um, the next spoon is a frosty spoon in their lightest size. I don't even know if they make these. If they do, it will be linked below. Um, otherwise, they might not make these anymore. But this is a very, very paper thin spoon with a little bit of a curve to it. This is one of the ones that like I will replace... I have a bunch of red hooks. Obviously, you can see some of them I've got on multiple baits. Um, don't know if it works. I just use them. They've got a good round gap to them. <laughs> and they're red, so it's a little bit more color to the thing. But these frosty spoons in almost any color, um, when they're finicky, a couple red spikes, flutter it down in front of their face. I mean, you pull this away, and a lot of times, nine times out of ten, you'll get a very aggressive crappie strike. So the the I think that's Lindy. Lindy Frosty Spoon, I believe, is the one that's made in this. Okay, so this guy right here, I've used in other... I think I have this for my Bluegill video, too. But this is a Lindy Toad. And I think it's a Lindy Toad. I know it's a Toad. I'm pretty sure about that. But it's just the shape of this thing. So I have a bunch of these guys. I have them all painted up, but uh, this color pattern whatever it is um so these glow that's another big thing they glow but this color pattern what i like to do is i put a couple bars on the side of it kind of like uh what do they call that fire tiger so that's usually what it's called i think fire tiger so you do the black lines on the sides of this if you have a steady enough hand <laughs> um this guy right here has caught me a lot of big crappie too um, same thing with this guy. I do like the one or two spikes off the back of it or one or two wax worms off the back of it. 
and uh, make them a tail so that this kind of like kicks around. But it's the, the, the shape of this thing, the way it darts around underwater really makes a difference when you're fishing for finicky fish. And uh, it is a tungsten. So I think it's a Lindy tungsten toad. So it does drop faster. So this one can still be fishing somewhat deeper water if you're using light enough line. But uh, yeah, the Lindy toad is definitely gonna be the last one, or the second to last one that I would throw uh, before giving up. And then last but not least, we'll go right into it, is this guy. Uh, the Rat Finky is a uh, go-to to anybody who's a pan fisherman through and through. Um, if you've never tried a Rat Finky, you're missing out. <laughs> um, there's been a couple different companies that make them. I think Custom Jigs and Spins is the one that's making it right now. Um, but this guy, I mean, it just works. It's such a simple little jig that works so well. Uh, you can see this one's beat up actually because it's been eaten so many times. Um, one thing I like to do with these guys, and it's a tip for anybody that's trying to, you know, fish efficiently, crush down the little barb that's on there, that thing, use the pliers and crush that down. You won't lose as many fish as you think you will, but if you crush that barb down, you can unhook fish a lot faster and you won't bend the wire. Uh, this one's got a very, very, uh, thin wire to it. So if you are using like a pliers or something like that to remove it from a fish's mouth, you can bend it. But that's, I mean, that's why I like this thing. It is so tiny and so light. It's just one of those things. When you use this bait, you are on your last leg for, you know, <laughs> fishing for crappie. If they don't bite this and you're super finicky, you got a problem and you should probably go home. <laughs> okay, so we got the ultralight rip and wrap number three number three jigging wrap uh not sure the size i will look for the smaller sizes the acme cast masters this is the what is that i think custom jigs is, i'll figure out who makes it but it's a slender spoon uh this is a jb lures <laughs> jb lures bow spoon or big bad bow spoon it's in their smaller size or smallest size uh, that's a forage minnow, I think by Northland, uh, Northland Tackle, but I'll have to look into that. This is a demon jig, painted my way, so if you guys want to copy it, it's just a chartreuse, uh, like, you know, green head, glow body. I think it's a green glow also, uh, very light. I'll try to find that if I can. Uh, otherwise, if you, you know, if you're at your local bait shop and you see these, a lot of bait shops carry them, uh, grab that. Uh, it's definitely a go-to if you're crappie fishing. Uh, the Lindy Frosty Spoon. And then uh, you got the Lindy Tungsten Toad. And then I'm going to say Custom Jigs and Spins Rat Finky. Alright, so that kind of ended up a little bit longer than I planned on it. But I wanted to get enough detail in there for you guys to be able to take those lures and use them. Um, there's just a little, you know, little tips here and there for you guys. So I hope those help you out. Uh, the biggest thing is, it's it's kind of self-explanatory. Fish the big ones aggressively. Fish the littlest ones uh, more finesse-like. Uh, light line on the little ones. You can actually get away with. I, I've run six-pound test on uh, jigging wraps and ripping wraps, and they will still eat those because they're when they're eating those, it's usually an aggressive bite. Um, if you have an electronics, you'll see them. They'll shoot up and hit those really hard. Uh, the one tip that I'm going to give you guys at the end of this video, so if you stuck around, you're getting the best tip. When, f when crappie fishing, they feed up. So if there's a bait here, they, f they go below it when they come in, and they feed up into it. So if they're feeding up into it, if you can get one of those to feed up, but travel through the water column, so like if you have a electronics, if you can see them coming through the water column and you can get them to chase those ripping wraps and jigging wraps, they will eat them with no bait on them whatsoever if you can get them to chase fast enough. Because what you do is you get them to chase fast enough and you just stop it. And the minute it stops, bounce it once so it looks like it's dying or something like that, and they will chomp it. It's probably my favorite part about fishing slabs is when they get aggressive like that, you can really pop them. I have a good video in my ice fishing video playlist. Go back. It's uh, just, well, you could probably just type it in as uh, fishing ultralight rip and wraps for crappie. Uh, just type that in and that's my video if you see it. 
it's a it's such a fun day but uh i digress i hope today's video helps some of you guys make some decisions about getting out crappie fishing this winter uh the biggest thing is is i wanted to give you guys options that's why i do these top tens and top fives and whatever it gives you guys options you don't have to go out and buy all of these uh you can just kind of pick and choose your spectrum but it also will be all of these catch crappie. This is a guarantee. I guarantee they've all caught crappie. Promise you. I have video proof. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have a safe season. I'm looking forward to it. We'll be on short ice shortly here. Um, otherwise, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, please just remember to.